This is the case of a patient with ischemic cardiomyopathy implanted with a single lead ICD, and we could find inside the memory of the device many episodes of non-sustained VD. Uh, a non-sustained VD is defined as the occurrence of at least five fast cycles in any detection zone, so VT or VF, but not enough cycles to reach the count for VT or VF. So no therapy will be delivered. You can see an example here, this is the normal reason, then the acceleration inside the VF zone and the spontaneous termination of the episode. There are here 28 fast cycles. If you look at the EGM, you can see that there is a real ventricular uh, tachycardia, very fast tachycardia. Uh, you can see here the fast uh, cycles, uh, 210, 230, and then after 28 cycles, there is a spontaneous termination. If you look carefully at the text, it's going to be labeled VT non-sustained with spontaneous reduction, and the total episode of therapy will last it for five seconds. And you can see that the patient was programmed with an initial count for VF as 30 out of 40. So this is a very good example to demonstrate the interest of this kind of recommendation, uh, prolonging and increasing the number of cycles for initial detection can help for decreasing the amount of inappropriate therapy in case of lead failure or in case of SVT, but as in this example, can also considerably decrease the amount of appropriate but avoidable therapy. This is a main priority of programming. You need to try to decrease as much as possible uh, the amount of inappropriate but also avoidable therapy.